Okay, Fabiano, this is yours. Um, again, um, the, it feels like he's got too much energy and um, agility to get up that pole. The way he's climbing. Is, it's nice that you got him sort of grabbing it from behind. Like he's sliding and grab. That's pretty cool. That's a nice bit of action there. Actually, you know, that's that's kind of nice. The one thing I would say is that your your character scale, the volumes are going from small to large to small to la to large. Cuz right here he's a really big cat. I know you got some stretch in there, but it just feels like he's also growing, especially coming up here. I know you're exaggerating things a bit, but you want to always keep a sense of scale. Um, it's a good good idea to to identify one pose that's sort of your scale pose and you can put it in a separate layer and put it in there to gauge and move it around to check um, scale throughout the thing um, throughout your animation process you could even what I what I will often do is I will draw out the plan. I'll make a plan with the character in a few poses and just make sure I have the scale all set up so I have I can turn that on at any one time and see where I am with it if I'm deviating too much uh, from it. But that's a nice bit of acting. I like I like this. Um, watch your feet Make sure your landing places are all on the same layer. Le I mean level, because here there's they're down, here they're down. So you got it there. But then when he's sliding here, he's up. Right. So if we see how see that difference between that one and that, so it's up. Keep those. Now see this is the one I made that's not really doing you any justice. Um, because you didn't do that, but but you can see the difference between that one and that one. So uh, you want to make sure those things are consistent. Nice with the weight. I like the weight and the S curves you got in your body. And he's sliding back and he's grabbing it. I would also often think uh, in terms of how can I make these drawings funnier. And clear. If I was just to stop the film in any any given frame, does the posing communicate what's actually happening? Is it clear and is it strong and is it is it well done enough that it would be something I would want to put on my wall or have somebody put on my on their wall? Is it is it that that that's a sense of appeal? So you can work out the appeal in every single pose in every drawing so that it's fun to look at and enjoyable. If, if every single drawing is going to be fun and at least it's working mechanically, then, then the scene is liable to be very fun. This is fun. I like this. Um, so here you got a little discrepancy in the length of the arms from that and they're skinny which is nice. It's a nice contrast to the feet which is what his design is. But this first drawing here um, they're short and stubby. So those are the kinds of things you want to watch out for consistency sake. This is cute. This is fun. I love this. So um, poses like this, even though they're fun, you can push them. So if you were to push it, make them even down further, often when you push something even more, just the silhouette itself will make it um, will make it even funner. So I, I just squashed them down, brought those legs up a bit more. Um, let's see that makes it a little bit more fun just pushing it just a tie a tad bit and you can even go further 
Nice grab here. I would want to sense more of a sense like that, like it's coming off his body um, in that moment. Maybe not like that. So that you have this. Push that even more to so get that curve going up. Nice grab, nice reach. Again, I would follow through with those longer lines in your drawings. Those longer lines give you solidity and strength. If you can carry it down through the tail, that would even be stronger. His leg. It's not going to be quite, he's sort of got stubby, stubby back feet, so you want to recover that volume. That's kind of cool. That's a good reach, but again, he's... Um, Maybe doing too much, too long. So it would be more like this. Let's see, it would not be quite. Now this is nice because you got here, he's up here, and he's now hanging on. I'd want a little bit more time here, if you could find it, of him just hanging on in that pose, because that's a nice, nice pose. I might even jump it up a bit, give him, and then you can splay out his claws like he's trying to hold on for dear life, and then, you know, maybe even do it over here. Bring up that overlap on his feet would be nice. So it feels like he's sinking, his body is sinking down to his feet if his feet are, are on there. And make that tail follow that line of action. Because that gives him a real shruggy look, clinging. And then it's nice as weight drops, like you've got him there. And now he's hanging on. So here I would want more of a bounce. <laughs> so he's going to, he would then come up a little higher perhaps and then settle again with another drawing um, on that. And then, then he slides off. Then his weight catches up and slides him off and brings him down. And I don't know if I would have him reach again because it sort of breaks up the fluidity of that my weight's going whoosh, just keep it simple it doesn't have to have that extra reach because um, at that moment he's going down and he knows it and it's you know you can't fight it but very nice it's um and the mouse is funny because he's laughing up there he's, he's hysterical that's funny good job <laughs>